Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video. We are going to look at ways that people can mitigate or adapt to the changing climate and its flow-on effects. Mitigation is any action that limits the rate of global warming and its effects. These strategies or features address the problem and are ways that we can fight climate change. Adaptation is learning to live with a warming climate and its effects. Even if we stop any further warming, we have to deal with some of the effects we are already experiencing, such as increased storms, fires, and heat. We are going on a neighborhood scavenger hunt to see how many features we can find that help to address climate change. There are some features that are implemented by the local government or community, and others that can be put in place by individual households. We will start with the community services and features. This suburb has good bus service that connects with train stations. Efficient public transport keeps cars off the road and reduces greenhouse gases. This counts as mitigation. We have ticked off the bus stops on our list and have followed the buses to the local train station. Trains are a very efficient way of moving large numbers of people. Electric trains like these in Sydney can be run using renewable power. This is an excellent mitigation measure. Parks and green spaces help to cool urban areas as plants transpire. Cooling urban areas is a way of adapting to climate change, but trees are also a good mitigation strategy because they absorb carbon dioxide from the air and lock it up in wood. Public areas that encourage walking are another climate mitigation strategy. This pedestrian area is surrounded by shops and right next to the train and bus stations. People drive less if they can find what they need in one spot and can get there by public transportation. I didn't find a bicycle path in my area, so can't tick off that item in the hunt. Does your community have any other features that combat climate change? Solar panels are a household climate mitigation feature that is easy to spot. By generating their own solar electricity, households are mitigating the effects of climate change. Solar panels may be paired with batteries, but batteries are hard to spot from the street. When looking at rooftops, you may also see solar water heaters. These come in a variety of designs and are another helpful mitigation strategy that is relatively low cost to adopt. Houses with large deciduous trees outside, like this big liquid amber, are using an effective adaptation strategy. Deciduous trees shade the house in summer and allow more sunlight through in winter. It is easiest to spot these trees in the winter when they have dropped their leaves. You may be able to see water tanks near a house. Water tanks are an adaptation to the more unpredictable rainfall that comes with climate change. Households can collect their own water to help reduce the strain on municipal water supplies. I didn't spot any houses with fireproof shutters in my neighborhood, but these are an adaptation to the increased bushfire risk that comes with climate change. I found some skylights and roof ventilation in my neighborhood. Skylights reduce electricity demand, so are mitigation. Roof ventilation lets out excess heat in summer. Do you think this is adaptation or mitigation? What other features in your local area are a response to the effects of changing climate? Consider strategies to combat floods, landslides, fire, and extreme weather. What features are adaptation and which are mitigation? Can a feature be both? We hope you've enjoyed this video about climate change mitigation and adaptation. For more videos, blogs, and activities, visit our website at ozearthed.com.au.